Children under the street lights, stripped and salivating, surveilling, everything I've earned evaporate with the rainfall, graphing the tree bark to myself, kindly fading in the pattern, or the ink that permeated your hands, gradually it bleeds completely. You are soft as a daguerreotype, depicting bestiality, the spindle in your skin burrowed in my capillaries, convened with my stomach to churn its music box teeth. teeth. I, I stared at lust in the chalice, some woman's glass anatomy. I gulped the wine down and ate her like a delicacy. I huffed the raw chemical materials used to produce artwork and pornography. Took a moment to praise solitude, throwing caution to the knees, spread eagle, half a fuselage, fuselage flying down, God's gracious open highway. Too rigorous for this car to handle, but feeling in love with the machine, like a centaur scraping the ceiling of the sky, with escapism abused and coping with the temporary. I'm, Ra I'm Rachel McCann, and um, uh, I'm an art major from North Park. Well, I thought we could, I wanted to come in here and talk about your book, because you gave me a copy of your book, mm -hmm. and I looked through it, and it was pretty awesome. So I thought maybe uh, we could talk about your book. What is it, you know, first of all, tell us, like, what, what is it called? Uh, my book's called Churn, and it's named after a poem that my friend Carly wrote. Um, she's been my best friend since we were like really little and um, she's a really fantastic poet and she sent me the poem and I felt like it really identified with with a lot of my drawings and my paintings and the work that I do and I wanted to create like a, a body of work that would kind of illustrate what she was trying to say in the poem. Why did you identify with that? I work poem? a lot from um, an emotional standpoint and a lot of my works have to do with like a lot of um, feelings that I'm having at the time. Like, I uh, I grew up with like manic depression, obsessive compulsive disorder, and a lot of other neurological disorders like Tourette syndrome. And um, as a result, like I'm a very over emotional person. Hmm. And sometimes when I'm creating works, I'll I'll end up just having these extreme feelings that are very overcoming and they come out in what I'm creating and I use it as an outlet. And in the poem, Carly talks about um, a lot of like really, um, she has like these really wonderful descriptions of um, these feelings that she's having and she kind of like makes these analogies between what she's feeling and like um, imagery and sometimes when I'm creating a work I like to be able to have that same thing too in my work where you have the emotion and you use that emotion and use it in the work and they kind of like um, they move in tandem together and then when the feeling is over and you have another feeling that's another layer on the drawing hmm. um, so I felt like her poem is really multi-layered and a lot of my work is really multi-layered, and I, I felt like they went really well together. Is there, is there one, sp maybe, or one or a couple specific pieces in your book that you, you feel like you could talk about? I could talk about um, Simple, which is this one. Um, it's an altered photograph, and it's from the early 1900s, possibly late 1800s, and one day I was in the Village Discount and I was looking around, because I go there for, to look for antique frames and surfaces to paint on, and I was in there and I saw this, this photograph, it's very large, it's like this big, and um, I saw it and it was like $17, and I, I couldn't afford it, so what I did was I hid it. <laughs> and I, I took it and I hid it in the clothing racks and I came back three times a week for four weeks to make sure that it was still there <laughs> until I could scrape together enough money to buy it. I was really poor at the time. Yeah. <laughs> so I waited until I could scrape up enough money to buy it because immediately when I saw it, I knew that I had to have it and I knew that I had to draw on it and I knew what image needed to come out of it. And I'm not really quite sure why, like there was probably some sort of like psychological, like subconscious thing that made me want to create it into something else, but I was just so fascinated with the image. And a lot of my work is like, it looks kind of very nostalgic and dark. And I have a, I identify a lot with like really old photographs and antique things because it kind of like, 
it reminds me, it, it like harkens back to a time where people appreciated doing things with their hands and hmm. like taking pictures manually. It's something that I love doing because yeah. it, it takes a lot more effort than just shooting off a picture with a digital camera and photoshopping it. And when I see nostalgic things like that, I really want to have them and hold them and collect them because it reminds me of a time where people appreciated the handmade a lot more.